What's going on, guys? Um, just finishing up putting this box, the wall, tough system toolbox, right here on the old trailer. Built some uh, little wood platform here. Put them in with two and a half inch bolts, three eighth head on it, three eight hex bolt with a two inch length. But yeah, it's got some wood pressure treated. All right, there. It's coming in. Yeah, it's not coming in. Anyway, here it is. It's a great, great toolbox, waterproof. It's got this little air valve here, which is really cool. So if you want to, you know. With the humidity outside and stuff, you want to let some air in, you want to block it out so no air gets in, that type of thing. Um, here it is, the Tough System. This is the DS400 box. I just got another one because I love them so much. Let's see if I can get some light going on in here. Yeah, wait a minute, let's see if we can do a little better. All right. This one just came in. Right there's the box from Amazon. Sorry guys, it's a little dark. It's almost 8.30 where I'm at. But, there's the new one. The old one. Which was only a week old, by the way. This, I just came up with this idea because it's waterproof. And it's made out of this durable foam. Man, I'm sick of just putting my box in the back of my truck or in the, on the trailer. I'm just putting it, making it permanent so no one can steal it. I got a lock I'm going to put on it right here. This is the same one that's on the trailer. Let's see if I can show you here. It might be clearer. DS400. Yeah, that ain't working. But here's my other one. There's four of them. This came out with a radio too. But how these work, real quick. Those of you who are interested in a cool toolbox is they stack on each other like that. And, um, you know, there's four of them. I just sent back the drawer. The drawer is the best one. It's actually, it stacks up on this. It's the DS250. It's called by the wall. Press the button, and you got two drawers. They pull out. You put all your, you know, you put your impact wrench, you know, you put your, you know, Drill bits, all that stuff, whatever you want to put in there. It's pretty cool. It's probably about a little bit smaller than the DS400, and there's two drawers that come out. Um, yeah, so, anyway, and they lock right here. They lock um, right here. I don't think anybody really cares about this. This is basically for my trailer, but. Anyway, if you can see this, this is how they lock. Boom. You're locked. Locked and loaded. Beach ball. Summertime's coming, but... Anyway. Real quick. This is... My new... Trailer. Toolbox. It took me, you know, probably an hour to do. You know, if you're going to do it, to drill through this, you know, metal or steel, whatever the hell it is. I don't think it's steel, but whatever metal it is, um, definitely spend money and get a DeWalt 3 8 drill bit. If you're going to do it this way, I'll show you the inside. Bolted like that. And then it's bolted there. And then it's bolted there. These bolted right into the uh, metal through nuts on the other side with one of these washers, which are awesome. So this thing is never coming off. So I was sick of loading it like right here or on this side or in here. That's the bed of my truck. Whoa. But, um,. Yeah, so I just decided, you know, these boxes are awesome. They're great. Um, 
I'm going to make it permanent. And this is some of the crap that I keep in my box. You know, these are the uh, little things for the steel and the Red Max to open them up, you know, to get, you know, into the machines. Um, I always got a 50 to 1 two cycle fuel for emergency situations, which seem to happen at least uh, every other day. So I'm into this. I use this almost like a gas can because I always, I, I know I have backup. So, you know, I got two cycle oil, some Husqvarna head buds for the guy I got work with me, some greases in there, uh, you know, knife, scissors. I'm sorry, it's so dark. Let me see if I can. A little bit better. Throwing this video pretty shitty. I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted to get it done. It's the only night I got out of time. Here's my. I love these things, man. Oh, these pruners. Fiskers did. These are amazing. I recommend them. Anyone who's into. And these things will cut through anything. I've cut through probably a two inch branch. Uh, yeah, two inch. Probably with that, like butter. You know, I got a couple screwdrivers in here. Cheap wrench. Got these at a Home Depot for like three dollars a piece. Right here. Shit, I'm like three ninety nine. I can always use a pair of pliers and adjustable wrench. So, got that in there. Some bungee cords. But extra string that just unwound on me. I keep two wound up. One's actually good. Right here. I gotta fix it. But I keep this in there. I did a little review on this before. This is some good shit. This is, um, you know, I try to put this in each uh, tank of uh, gas, either two cycle or regular. Um, and usually, uh, if I fill my tank up at the gas station of my zero turn, I just throw a splash of this in there. Just, you know, has some additives that help uh, for Briggs and all that. I got a little bit of a news flash for you guys, too. I should mention real quick. You know what? Let me lower this. This is just crazy. Alright. I'm thinking of selling this sucker right here. Yeah, after a year and a half. I think I might be parting ways with the Time Master. Um, you know, I just really don't, you know, with the new 22 inch, I don't know. It's a tough decision. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I, I got an offer already for 600 bucks. I'm kind of playing it around in my head. I mean, this thing cost me $1,000. And I probably made around, I don't know. I don't even know. Probably 10, 10, 10 grand off of it, 12, 13. So, you know, I could definitely make another $25,000, I'm sure, with this mower and all, you know, over the next two, three years and all. But, you know, I just don't know if I need it anymore. But it's been very good to me. I had some problems with it in the beginning. You know, with the blade, it wasn't cutting real good. There was a recall on it. They fixed it. But Toro customer service is the best. I mean, I'll tell you straight I love Husqvarna. They don't make one item I never liked. But their customer service is horrible. Absolutely horrible with a capital H. Um, but Toro, always, always top, top notch. You know, like top notch landscaping. Just, you know, head, head of the class. But anyway... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, here's some others. I keep, uh, some ties here. And I got gloves. If you can see them. It's, let me see what we got going on. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so, these are the stuff that, and I got other stuff I'm going to throw in there too, but this is just basic stuff. But, let me see if this helped. But, um... You see this yellow? This is the seal right here. This is a rubber seal that makes it waterproof right here. It's it's awesome. I mean, there's videos on YouTube of this thing of people running it over, you know, throwing it on the back of a boat and water skiing with it. 
I mean, this thing is definitely tough as shit. So this is it, DS400 by the wall. I got the whole system right here. There's actually, well, I don't have the whole system. There's one I'm not getting. They make the extra large, which is on the bottom. Then they got the small, the DS100, I think it's called, the top one. I'll show you real quick. If anyone's, you know. Real, real quick. And this, you can lock this one too. You can lock all of them except the one with the draw. But this is what the top one looks like. You know, you throw your shit in here. Your extra bolts, you know, nails, deck screws, whatever you want. And then this what's cool is this thing opens up too. It's like, whoa. This is the hose. I need, I need light. Let me, uh... Alright, that's a little bit better. But you see this hose? This is for the oil changes on the Hustler Raptor. So now I don't have to search for that anymore. I always lose it. So it's right there. Uh, you open these up, snap, snap. I got my blades for my Sawzall. Reciprocating saw. The proper name for it. And here I got... Uh, stuff for my impact wrench. I don't know about you guys, but I use my, I haven't used a wrench probably in like three, three years since I bought my uh, impact wrench. I love it. I use it all the time. I mean, I, I just, I love it. I use, this the best invention ever was the impact wrench. These cordless ones, you know, the ones that back in the day you had to have the, uh, you know, with the air, the, oh, freak, I can't answer it. I can't remember it. Somebody clue me in uh, on the bottom of the screen. Tell me what it is. Uh, oh, you know, with the air. We well, gotta have the air thing there. Uh, whatever. But since, you know, things have changed with these cordless tools and stuff, uh, you know, the cordless impact drill, impact wrench and impact drills and all this stuff, it's made it awesome. You know, I use it to change my blades all the time and everything like that. Um, but this, that's what this looks like. I'll do a better video of everything when I do a trailer video, which I'm going to do shortly. And um, that's about it. So, any comments or questions? Damn, I can't think of that. What's the name of that stuff that you used to use the impact wrench with? Before they were cordless. They had the air, and you had to hook them up. Bzz, bzz. Air compressor. You believe that? I couldn't, so you, it's, it's great that you can use these tools without an air compressor, is what I'm talking about, there we go, but this is what's on the back, this one's hooked up, but um, yeah, so this is it, DS400, it's on my trailer, one last look, if you could see at night, I don't know if we can, no, but, I don't know, I might paint this wood too, I'm not sure, I don't know. I don't really care about looks, just uh, efficient, efficiency. I'm all about the efficiency. And I'm going to show you my efficiency when I show you my trailer video. But, alright guys, let me get going and I'll see you on the next one. Later.